episode 10 the account is coming along really really nicely i've got barrows gloves and the goal now is to work on being a void ranger with vengeance around 94 range so i just need to make a lot of money because i need to save up for those ranger mage levels and the bank's sitting at 18 mil i've been safe spotting some venonitis i'm up to 27 kc right now and i'm not getting anything i'm after those rare drops snapdragons about 800k onyx tips 500k or maybe a dragon pickaxe 4 mil oh yes 500k that's what i'm talking about that's what we needed no oh do you know i just got a long bone a long bone is a one in 400 drop rate the dragon pickaxe is a one in 171 trying to do it on world 18 on bounty hunter because there's a one in five drop rate of getting mysterious emblems from wilderness bosses so it makes it so much better money as you can see here the drop would have been 101k which is insane plus the emblem 228k Second lot of onyx tips. Let's go. 43 KC. And by the way, I'm yet to be PK'd the entire time. So that's a good thing. 50 KC. Yeah, I'm going to stop there for now. 55 KC. I got quite a few Dark Crab and Super Restore drops. This is approximately the loot from 55 KC. 3 mil loot, of course. I spent a fair bit in supplies, but yeah, pretty good. I'll, I'll return there sometime soon. So we can hopefully get that deep pick. My stats are pretty mediocre for Zora. So to make things easier, I'm going to go back and upgrade the gear slightly. So I'm going to make some more money at Revenants. I really, really enjoy it here. And my luck is pretty good. I've got quite a few emblems. My best so far is the one that's worth 4 mil. So the upgrades I'm looking for is a Mage Book over the Tome of Fire. It gives 15 Mage Bonus over 8. And also a Sears Ring Imbued, which gives an additional 12. And I've just been TB. Fantastic. Bad. Revs are scary. Peak hairs literally every few minutes. As you can see, I got frozen. Anyway, 200k loot. That's why most of the stuff I'm doing for money is actually in the wilderness. Because high risk, high reward. The skirt dropped that time, 376k. That's my Revenant KC, 1,114. Picked that up from a PK or something? I don't know why you'd wear a water battle staff, but yeah, 440k. As I get TB'd, 300k loot. I'm going to try out the Chaos Fanatic for the first time ever on World 18, because it's an easy boss to do, and that's free emblems. And if we do get the Malediction or Odium Shard 1, they're worth quite a lot, so let's do this. I'll just do it until I just keep on getting PK'd, get a few emblems, I guess. Oh, there you go. Second KC, Mysterious Emblem. That's how overpowered world... It, well, it's not overpowered. There's only one world, but that's how good it is. Instead of just getting the 6k drop, I got 125k. The only supplies I'm using is the scales and the darts from the blowpipe because I can recharge my prayer every single time. Ancient staff? That's really rare. I, I was checking the drop rate before. Yeah, that's oh, that's the same drop rate of the shards. <laughs> 10kc, 350k. That's really good. Probably a good time to bank. Look at that. 515k. A lot of close calls with PKs. I have to hop literally every two minutes, but pretty good trip. 500k. Still working on 6 year mining for Lunar Diplomacy. Getting there, level 56. And 1150 total level. And the first 10 million total XP on the account. Almost there, level 58. I got a medium clue skill, so I'm gonna go do that. And pray for Ranger Boots, obviously. Bank's looking pretty nice, to be honest. I appreciate the Ranger Boots. One day. I've come to the Mining Guild. I potted with a mature Dwarven Stout. And basically, you get an invisible boost of 7 mining. So I'll be able to mine the rocks faster. And also, the spawn rate of the rocks is double as fast. As you can see here, look how fast that spawns. So, there'll be no downtime, basically. And there's a bank right there. Which is pretty cool. I just thought, if I'm feeling lazy and I can't be bothered shift-click dropping it, I can just bank it right there. And I'm... Um, wait, what? I'm actually going to make money from mining. That's 4.6k per invent. What the hell? I'll take it. So, from mining iron ore... Without three ticking, I'm making 270k 
GP per hour. That's good. 59, one more to go. That is so nice to get out of the way. I was actually dreading going for 60 mining. I remember getting it for the first time on Torvesta, but it was honestly not too bad, the remaining couple levels there. It's because I spaced it out, you know what I mean, rather than doing it all in one. And they also made 230k from the last remaining levels, which is not too bad. Another ancient staff drop, same drop rate as a shard. Another 10kc, 488k. Another trip going well, 324k. Back at Revenants, 338k loot, decent, 437k. Oh, yes, finally. At least it's not the 500k one. It's been a while since I've got one of the rare drops. Good stuff. And look at that, there was four people on the Dark Beast and I got it, so that was lucky there. That sniped it. I'm gonna sell all the loot, and I can now afford a Necklace of Anguish. That's most of the loot. Looking insane, look at that. The beautiful Necklace of Anguish. Now it's time to get 650,000 Nightmare Zone points for the Sears Ring imbued. For Zora. And other things. No wasted time, because I'm getting really good XP anyway. There's the little 88 range. And there it is, 650,000 Nightmare Zone points for the Sears Ring imbued. Look at the difference. We're on 99 Mage Bonus, and now 111. That's going to make a really nice difference. Oh yeah, also, I can afford the Tormented Bracelet now, so this should be really, really good XP. My max hit is a 37. So this amount of supplies should get me... 81 mage so my max hit with the trident of the swamp at zora will go from a 26 to a 28 which is pretty good there it is 81 magic that'll do for now that's gonna be a lot better been doing a lot of afk range training whilst doing some raids too level 89 look at that 4.8 mil xp i'm hardly even gonna need to chin from those ammonite crabs i get fossils and i put them into the variant museum and i get xp lamps so do I get an agility level? No, but close. Now I've spent so much money on magic, I need to save back up for the upgraded Zora gear. So I'm back at Venonitis. And this time, instead of having a dragon crossbow, it's actually better to have a rune crossbow and a necklace of anguish. Better accuracy, and I get a strength bonus. Magic seed? That's a 1 in 128 drop rate. That's the same as Snapdragons. Okay, I should probably bank. To be fair, that's actually pretty good though, 182k. Well, never mind, I got declawed out of Venonitis. I'm going to get 61 crafting, which is a Lunar Diplomacy requirement. Only got one more requirement, 55 woodcutting. There we go. I've got all the Lunar Diplomacy requirements. I don't need to unlock Lunas right now, though. Yeah, so it's literally not worth doing it not on World 18. Because look at that right there. That's pretty much a 200k drop rather than the 66k. I'll take that. I can't complain about Onyx tips. I'm getting so many emblems from this thing. Legit, look, mysterious emblem, mysterious emblem, back to back. And I got a couple before in just a few. Yeah, I got four emblems in just a few. 1.2 mil loot, dragon plate legs. So many PKs of Revenants have to hop all the time, but thankfully we didn't get PK'd and 527K loot. It might seem like I'm doing the same lot of money makers over and over again, but there's no point doing something that's only a few hundred K per hour because that would take forever and I have to make a lot of money like loads and loads and loads for 94 mage and 94 range that, that that's the plan once I get there I can probably actually PK for money so it won't be the same stuff all the time and also even higher level content I'll be able to switch to Vorkath and maybe some God Wars dungeon bosses and stuff another trip done 387k almost there 484k is the loot i acquired and i've bought back the zora gear plus some upgrades as you can see and that's my revenant kc 1468 here's how the bank's looking like literally i had the perfect amount of money for the zora gear because look i hardly have any supplies there's not much in the bank <music> Before I had a 109 mage bonus, now I have a 129. And for the range gear, not much has changed, just the amateur fury. So if you include the trident of the swamp with the charges and the rest of my bank, not much in there. Let's say 4 mil plus 19 mil 
23 mil bank. So like I said, I just need to make money, train mage and ranged, and we're ready to be gay. I'm sorry these episodes are taking a long time to make, take a lot longer than you expect.